It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer, and I'm returning to a beer that I have, or I first reviewed 12 years ago on the channel. Uh, this YouTube channel started in January 2010, and in so the channel's 13 years old. So after about a year of reviewing beers on YouTube, I came across a beer that blew my mind. And it was called Fuller's ESB. It's either extra special bitter, or some might call it English special bitter. Whatever the name for ESB is, it's a champion ale, described as a champion ale, and I think it's tremendous, a tremendous beer. But, but, I've had versions that have been brewed with more beer company, the original recipe of ESB was brewed with More Beer Company in 2015, I think it was. Um, I've drank this on holiday, on cask. But I looked back at my review and I didn't even do a proper standing in the kitchen review of this beer. I actually did a Skype call, a recorded Skype call with an American beer reviewer called Chad's Beer Reviews. If you're watching Chad, hello. And we did it over a laptop. We did it recording our screens on a laptop and we did a, like a side by side. He was giving his, his view in America uh, and I was giving my view in the UK. So this is the first time actually that I'm actually standing with the tripod with the camera reviewing Fuller's ESB 12 years later that video that that Skype recording was recorded 12 years ago so what do I think now here is the Griffin bottle cap uh, things have definitely changed things have definitely changed for Fuller's uh, when I reviewed the beer originally it was a uh, it was an original um, independent, if you like, brewery. Uh, about three or four years ago, they got bought out by Asahi, uh, a Japanese uh, brewery, lager brewing company. So they're now owned by Asahi. So it would be really nice to... Well, should we just get it out? 5.9% ABV, 500 ml bottle, lots of awards on the front of the bottle that they've won over the years. Let's get it out. And importantly, let's see if I still love this beer as much as I used to. Let's see if Asahi have done anything with this recipe. Judging by the look of the beer, judging by the quality of that beer, I think Asahi, just looking at this beer, have said to Fuller's, you crack on. You crack on doing tremendous things in your brewery. And we'll just own it. Because, of course, some breweries get bought out. Let's talk about Beavertown and Heineken. And the beer gets completely ruined. Beavertown used to be one of the best breweries in the UK. And now their beer's been ruined by Heineken. So let's hope that Asahi have left Fuller's well alone. One finger slightly off white head. Good levels of carbonation rolling up the glass it's a cherry red ambery colored beer it's quite clear i've not got all of the beer in so it might be a bottle conditioned beer uh, let's get the aroma bit of plum bit of citrus But the predominant aroma is biscuit, breadiness, nuttiness. It smells absolutely fantastic. Let's dive in. <clears throat> Cheers, everybody. Stone the Crows. Stone the Crows. That is a wonderful, 
wonderful, wonderful beer. Ah, oh, it's so nutty, biscuity, bready, slightly earthy, hoppy, real lovely bitterness on the back end. I travelled about 10 miles for this beer. I'll tell you a little secret. Um, Aldi have brought out a London Porter. And the only place I could buy a Fuller's London Porter to do a side by side with the Aldi London Porter was by picking up a bottle in Waitrose. So it was about a 10 mile journey. And whilst I was there, I seen the ESB, Fuller's ESB, and I thought, I've travelled 10 miles, so I might as well pick a bottle up. And then on the way home, I was thinking, let's do one of those beer reviews where I, like, 10 years difference, or in this case, 12 years difference after I, after I first tried the beer. And I'm so pleased, I so, I'm so pleased that I picked it up, because it really is wonderful. This is a, a, a fantastic example of Great British Brewing. Even though they're owned by a Japanese company now, I, I admire, I admire Asahi for leaving Fuller's to just carry on producing good quality beer. What would be the point in Asahi buying Fuller's just to ruin their beers? I just don't see the point. I never saw the point, I never saw the gain of Heineken buying Beavertown just to rubbish their brand, just to ruin their brand. For me, they might as well open up a big drain and pump £40 million into the drain. That's what I think Heineken did when they bought Beavertown, just to ruin their beers. They might as well have burned their money. This is the way to do it. Well done, Asahi. Um, the purchase, the takeover happened a few years ago now um, and this ESB is tasting as good. I remember it. I remember it because I loved it. It's tasting as good as it always has. Congratulations to Asahi on, on continuing the quality with Fuller's beers. There's a little bit of raisin a little bit of plum, malty, biscuity. It's balanced. It's balanced between that little bit of sweet malt and that little bit of bit. Well, more than a little bit of bitter. It's got a lovely bitterness on the back end, so it's nicely balanced. Um, it's not a bottle conditioned beer, or at least this bottle doesn't seem to be a bottle conditioned beer. You can see that the beer is relatively clear. It's a bright cherry red amber coloured beer. But it's tremendous. Oh, they've actually put the words extra. Okay, so it's not English. Some people think it's English. Um, some people think it's extra. Well, we can sign that off now, can't we? Because it says extra. Extra special bitter. The ESB that started it all, multi-award winning Fuller's ESB is acknowledged as one of the world's finest beers. The unique blend of North Down Target, Challenger and Golding's Hops balances the rich multi notes for a smooth, full body beer bursting with marmalade, fruitness throughout. The ingredients are water, malted barley and hops. Fantastic. Fantastic, and long may it continue. From the Griffin Brewery in London. If you ever travel down from Wales, or if you ever travel down from the west of the country, southwest, you'll pass through the M4, you'll pass through into London, and you will always pass the Griffin Brewery there in London, the Fuller's Griffin Brewery. And whenever I go to a beer festival in London, whether it's the camera, Great British Beer Festival or more recently Brew London or some of the other festivals I go to or breweries that I visit in London. 
I always know that I've arrived in London when I see the Fuller's Brewery. It puts a smile on my face. I've never been there. I've never been there. I'd love it all. I'd love it all. So if anybody from Fuller's are watching, get me down. Uh, but um, brilliant. Brilliant beer. Brilliant brewery. Fantastic ESB. It really is. Um, I like it. I like it enough to give it a Stone the Crows 9 out of 10. It's a 9 out of 10 from Real Ale Craft Beer. If, if, I think if you're asking me why I haven't given it a 10, I think if it was bottle conditioned, it would be even better. So I'm going to take one mark away that it's not a bottle conditioned beer. So 9 out of 10. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.